Oh, he's getting it now. Welcome to Evan Metal Customs. Today, I wanted to show y'all a car that uh, actually uh, Casey and I built. Man, I'm thinking it's been 12 plus years ago since we built this car. I know you've seen it a little bit on the channel, but I've never really went over the car and showed it to you. Uh, what it is now, it is a 2003 Mustang GT. But this thing started off life, the uh, body and everything was a 99 V6 automatic car that I bought. Uh, bought it without motor transmission, uh, it didn't have a whole lot, but it had a straight frame on it. What I done is run up to Nashville, one of them crappy car lots, and I bought an 03 GT, rebuilt title car. Now, that thing was, uh, I mean, it was drivable, but I don't see how it ever passed <laughs> to be back on the road again. It had been hit really hard, and whoever done the work on it, it was crappy. The firewall had wrinkles in it, as well as this whole side on that GT. So it was not going to be an everyday driver. Uh, so what we done, we just stole everything out of it and stuck in this car and then some, I got a little carried away on it. But let me run you through here and uh, show you what all we done and all the extras we did on this cool build. All right, guys, main reason the car's in the shop right now, I wanted to clean it up. I mean, it was beyond filthy. Let me just put it that way. Uh, this car hasn't seen the road in it'll, a it'll long time, probably five plus years. And all I do is start it up, move it, cut the grass, move it back. Uh, since I built this car, like say 12 plus years ago, it may have 500 miles on it at the most. I just never drive it. Uh, main reason being is two cars either going to get me arrested or in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> but that being said, people are wondering why I built it. Well, because I wanted to. And yesterday, I done a quick wash job on it. But you can see, man, the paint's going away. The body work, I didn't do this body work. But you see how that's all cracking up. The hood's looking really rough. Yeah, it's just, you know, time. And sitting out in the sun and not being driven and taken care of has taken its toll on this little old car. I still have a lot of cleanup work to do. Today I'm going to get in there and clean the interior up. We're going to wipe a bunch of stuff down again on the outside and I'm going to try to polish it up a little bit so it just looks a lot better. No sense of letting it sit and go to crap. Uh, I may buy some tires and uh, get it back on the road. But, I'll tell you about the bit. Like I say, 99 V6 auto body. And we took everything out of that uh, 03 GT, which did not have factory engine in it. That car was hit so hard that it just ruined the front of the motor. So, let's just start up front here. Yep, see, I got race car stickers. That makes for a lot of horsepower. This is an old sticker from when I had the muffler shop. Yeah, that's how long ago it's been since I built this car. And I see my paint's coming off. Yeah. Yeah, I've been sitting way too long. But the engine, that is out of a uh, 2001 Crown Vic. It is a 4.6 police interceptor. Romeo motor. And I have a 5-speed backing it up. 5-speed is 03 Mustang GT, as well as the rear end and uh, the majority of the suspension in it. Uh, this old motor, it ran good. I did put a new timing chain assembly in it, but while I was in there, I put a set of a uh, Comp XE 268H cams, 
I done the uh, Pro Comp intake. Love aluminum intake on one of these. I can't stand in plastic intakes. I've been through a hundred alternators. Uh, we won't get into that right now. But on this intake, I gasket matched every port in there. And then, as you can see, I have a 75 millimeter one inch spacer here and a 35 millimeter one inch spacer here. 75 millimeter throttle body. Now, this upper intake piece is factory, but I gasket matched and ported all of that out, as you can see, and done the EGR Delete and the idle air control mod. So them are taking care of uh, BBK cold air. Yep, that works out really good. Uh, I have A-cell super coils in it, and I have a set of match flowed Bosch 24-pound injectors. Uh, this motor really, really runs good. It's a, it's a torque monster. I've got a set, you can't see them. We're going to raise it up where you see them. I've got a set of long tube headers on it, stainless steel, and they're wrapped. They're inch and five-eighths uh, primaries on them headers with a two and a half inch dual exhaust for the next chamber. Um, I have a Bama custom tune to make this all run right. Um, I've done a lot of other work that I'll show you as we go along here. But yeah, this is basic under hood of it. Yeah, I like purple. It is what it is. Yeah, I've got these uh, fancy uh, LED lights in it. Boy, my lenses just really got ate up there in the sun, didn't they? Really, really bad, yeah. But the lights are really bright, them LEDs in there. As you see, I've got some, a uh, little bit of metal work right here. And, whoa, we've got a plastic tie right here. And a dent here. And a crack there. Yeah, last time I had this thing out, <coughs> excuse me, a little deer run out in front of me. Well, about a teenage deer. Luckily, I slammed on the brakes. I didn't think I hit him that hard. It just sort of knocked him over. He got back up and run off. But yeah, it cracked this uh, aftermarket bumper, some kind of aftermarket Cobra bumper that I've modified. But I didn't know it cracked this panel here yet. Yeah, broke it there, broke it in there. Just, uh, yeah, they're really fun. Fun drive, fun drive. But yeah, this thing, uh, like I say, really, really set up. As you see, it is lowered. I've got an inch and a half lowering springs on it. I'll show you them when we pick it up. I need to finish that bumper, get that bottom grafted in. It's fiberglass work done. Uh, go ahead and get on the inside. Like I say, y'all, this thing's, to me, it's filthy. It's got the dark charcoal in here. I'm gonna clean it up today. Give me some cool forward seat covers. And as you can see, this wicked shifter right here. Yes, that is out of helicopter. And I modified it to fit this vehicle. That was a lot of work. I got the white face gauges, the little inlays, and they, they got like a blue glow to them, which is pretty cool. White face for the AC and heat controls. Seven inch DVD player with a backup camera. Um, you see, I got all the carbon fiber type trim stuff that went in here. I like the carbon fiber. I even got the, uh, which about all wore off. Got these mirrors. They have, you see the carbon fiber look under there, which is pretty cool. And these light up, uh, can't remember how I wired them, parking or blinker. But they do light up, and of course I had to put a flame pattern in them. And, oh, a buddy of mine, done me a headliner and it's all carbon fiber I know it's hard to see but yeah pretty cool pretty cool we will get this thing cleaned up yes I know some of y'all may have noticed that oddness gray steering wheel column and wheel yeah that was was in 03 and I haven't found a black one to replace it yet or a dark charcoal 
But yeah, the uh, car's still in really good shape. Uh, come around up here. I got these side markers, they're reflectors, but I got the smoked out ones. Uh, factory tail lights, need to clean them up. Really need to buff that up. A little backup camera there. Yes, the eyes do light up red when I turn the parking lights on. We'll get to that after a while. I got purple and flames everywhere on this. But as you see, the weather is just really, really wore this thing out. I had a uh, friend make me that in purple. Boy, it's really faded. That's a memory of my daughter Megan. Uh, she uh, she did not get to drive this car, but she did get to drive my original 02 Mustang GT5 speed. But yeah, that was nice of them to make that up for me in the purple. But yeah, I mean, cool car. Just, uh, just set. And when I'm saying I built this so many years ago, and it only has 500 miles on it, look at the tires. Tread still looks new, but who's the dry right? You can tell how much it's sitting with the factory Mustang. Uh, five-spoke rims, which I've always liked on these things. But cool, oh yeah. I uh, do like skulls and stuff. We got that big cool rearview mirror in there. Ooh, the door open. I oh, know, lots of cleaning to be done. Yeah, that mirror is pretty cool. Yeah, but I do like this car. And I do have some uh, aftermarket lights. You see the switches right down in there, the two red ones. The interior has a purple glow. And uh, these are the old school tube style, not LED lights in there. And I have a, a tube in the front and the rear. That way the front, the grill, and the grill down there has got a purple glow to it, which I like. And if it still works, down inside the intake, I actually have a purple strobe light. We'll fire it up here later on and uh, turn them lights on to see if they even still work. Like I say, just got tired of moving it around. Figured I'd clean it up a little bit and we might put this thing back on the road. But let me raise it up and let you check out what we've done underneath. Alright, get up underneath here. Like I say, there's that old school neon tube. Yeah, I had four, the other two fell off and I run them over. You know what? Life happens. And uh, there's some springs, I'll tell you about them lowering springs. And I know y'all noticed there are no uh, plates up top as far as the strut plates that are adjustable to line this thing up. I chose you can get a bolt that goes in your strut. It's an eccentric bolt. That'll let you do your caster and your camber. I chose that. It's a lot cheaper and a lot easier and looks a lot better. And as you see, I have all red polyurethane bushings and everything. Yeah, redone the A-frames, done it all. Well, oh, I need to paint underneath here again. You know, K and in oil filter. I only use the best in this. And Mobile One, fully synthetic oil. Yeah, this car is in a uh, really, really good shape. I did mount some, uh, I think these are LED type lights in here. We'll turn them on and see if they even work. I can't remember. But, got them in there. Uh, this thing lined up perfect. I lined it up myself. I did not take it to the shop. I'm not going to turn some idiot loose with my car. Because uh, you just don't know about people. Like I say, there's some big old headers. And you see some of this one here, I need to get a little more wrap. The wrap came loose, started coming off. Really important to wrap them headers, you heat soak the starter. And as you see, I wrapped my starter. Yep, sure did. The only leak in this car is a little bit of oil. And that's coming from the drain plug. So a new drain plug will cure that. I say five speed car. Two and a half inch custom exhaust I've done myself with the X chamber. 
I did coat and paint everything under this car. I'm not sure how good you can see it. Move this light down just a little bit. Yeah, the drive shaft, it is purple. Painted the rear end, but it didn't show up too great, did it? Yeah, that's the way that goes. Look at the big old long light in my way. I'm trying to show you all everything. I do have the uh, solid trailing arms, as you can see, with the polyurethane bushings. They are the greasable ones. I got them there, and they are up at top right there, if y'all can see that. Uh, put in an anti-sway bar. You know, do a little bit of modifying there to get it to fit and sit up good. But hey, it worked. Uh, give me a drive shaft catcher loop back here. Better safe than sorry. Of course, the front, if it ever broke there, the uh, X chamber is going to catch it. I like to put my X's like that. Uh, dual purpose, catch a broken drive shaft, and it gets the X back there a little bit, which makes for a little bit better sound, and uh, just helps out a lot. Uh, everything else, really good shape under this car. Need the frame connectors next. Something I have not done. Uh, the only no, the only mufflers I have on this thing are these spark cans on the back, some stainless steel ones. And what I've done, took the stainless steel mufflers, they're just uh, overgrown glass packs is all there are, guys. And I put a set of these resonator tips on the muffler. This thing's got a wicked tone Wait until I fire it up. But yeah, that is... Uh, that is my custom build in a nutshell, and a pretty cool car, and just, oh, too much fun to drive. Oh, yeah. I took the pony out of the uh, corral and put me a skull in there. That's steel. It's not some cheapy plastic. Now, I was going to make the uh, eyes light up, but uh, that's just something to attract the cops, and I don't need that happen. But uh, let me hook up the battery and see if all these lights work. Yeah, it appears that uh, I think some of them are still working. That one's still working. That's a nice glow. Yeah. You all see that up underneath there? You got that stroke up under the intake. Um, I don't see the rear. Now, the rear one went out. But well, we do have the purple one. Yeah, got a nice little purple glow on the inside. Here's the switches for all that business. Now, some parking lights. Okay, well, we are parked. Oh, yeah. Little skulls still light up good. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I know the parking lights the front work. Better check them. Like I say, I may end up putting this thing back on the road. Yep, and I've got... Oh! Good mark. Cool. And I put the purple in there. Cool, cool. Uh, take it, I uh, wired them in with the parking lights. Well, apparently I did. All right, well, it's good to know that all of that works. Yeah, I gotta have it, I gotta unhook the battery. Right now, it's got another bad alternator on it. This thing is eight alternators. Uh, I put seven on here. Different brands, I've spent a fortune. And what happens, the diodes go out. The alternator was still charged. But, when the diodes go out after the car gets warmed up, it doesn't want to start again. It creates a really, really wicked RF interference. And from my understanding, it messes with the cam sensor. Now I've taken this cam sensor, it's all brand new. 
everything in this car is brand new pretty much. I have moved the wiring, separated it out of the harness. I've done everything you can think of. The, uh, when we built this car, we had the wiring harness out, of course. Went through it. Not a nick, not a scrape, not a bad connection, nothing like that. But this thing just likes to eat up alternators. The only thing I could think of was my engine to frame ground did not look that great. And what I've done, you see this negative cable here, got it coming from alternator all the way around, all the way down, and going to the frame. And someday I'll buy another alternator and see if that fixes this issue. Like I say, it still charges. You can drive it anywhere. But once you shut it off, you're going to play hell getting it started back. And the last time I done it, it blew this header gasket out when it backfired. And that took me a whole day just to put a gasket in this thing. And also, when them alternators go bad like that, it'll kill the battery. That's why I unplug it every time the car's sitting. But yeah, it is what it is, right? But yeah, pretty, pretty cool car. Thought y'all get a kick out of this. Uh, let me uh, spend a little bit of time and get some more cleaning up on it. And then I'll fire it up and let y'all hear this thing rumble. All right, well, I got the interior clean. Show you that in a minute. And uh, I wiped the car down again. I just used some final inspection on it, and man, car would just not catch any shine. The paint is just shot. Yes, I could pull out some buffing compound and the buffer and all of that, but I mean, you can see all the clear is gone there. We got Bondo crackage there. You know, just the clear is gone there. There's just too much. You know, all the clear has gone off the spoiler, apparently. There's just too much gone. Yeah, this will be one... Uh, I will plan on as soon as I can doing a paint job on. But, I mean, the little car does clean up really nice still. I know this panel's always breaking the little tabs up in here. It is what it is. Yeah, but the car cleans up. It shines up really nice. Like I say, it is a really cool car, especially considering I've built uh, this car out of two different cars. And this miscellaneous part and piece and what I bought here and what I bought there. Yeah, but if I was to go down the road, 50 miles an hour, 50 feet, it would look good. Just not sure about them tires. I think they would blow in a heartbeat. But this is got it clean enough for me right now. And that was my goal, just to get it basically good and cleaned up. So I can take it back over to the yard and park it. But at least it doesn't look like crap, and I am taking care of it. All right, well, here shortly I'll uh, get this bad boy fired up. And we'll uh, run it over to the house and put it in its parking spot. Well, I got it clean enough for now, and that'll do. At least I got all the uh, muck and mud off of it and all that green stuff. Got it wiped down, got it vacuumed, got the tear cleaned up. And like I say, I was going to do this sit over at the house. It ain't like I'm driving it or anything. But I got the battery hooked back up. So uh, let's see if she'll crank up. Yeah, 
Yeah, don't worry about that stain. That's where I got them uh, header wax wrap well. Got that header wrap soaking wet when I washed everything. Yeah, I'm just going to let it sit here and warm up. Get rid of that, and then we'll take her for a little rip and park it. <coughs> and like I said, guys, this thing's got, what did you say there, 86,204.5 miles on it. Let me just let it sit here and warm up, and then we'll pull it over. Now she's warmed up, you can hear them cams a little bit. Like I say, not a big cam, 268 H comp. But it does have a good tone to it. Alright, let's pull it over to the house. car cleaned up it still runs fine uh, still drives fine I just need to uh, do a couple of things to it like say uh, get another alternator and hopefully this one will last and put some tires on it uh, plates and some insurance and I can drive it on the road again but for now she'll sit over at the house and be nice and comfortable and take a chill well everyone I appreciate you watching hopefully you enjoyed the video I enjoyed shooting it and uh, so I've had an old car for so long, always like getting it out and piddling with it. But hey, if you would, throw us down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon and all this super thanks. And please like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Till the next one, we hope that everyone has a fantastic day.